Hey all, Hiba here and uh, welcome to another video of Sea of Conquest and uh, in this video I'll give you some tips and tricks if you're just starting out in the game, right? So uh, here I have a very low level player, I've just finished the tutorial in the beginning and as you can see my whole map is just covered in fog of war. And uh, the first thing I suggest that you do as a new player in this game is to explore the whole map because there are a few reasons that it's a good idea when you're low level. It's fairly simple to do and really all you gotta do is to sail from port to port. Once you enter a port, you will see the yellow little wiggling icon there with a compass. All you gotta do is click that icon and uh, you'll use one of your 20 compass uses to uh, reveal the area around that port. And uh, that's really important as you continue on in the game. And I think it's a good way of getting into how the game works and of course also how the map layout is because that's really important as well. And uh, the most important thing about doing this while you're low level is that while your flagship is below level 8, you cannot be attacked by other players, right? So that means you can sail anywhere you want and you can do anything you really want and you cannot get attacked by anything other than the AI. So uh, I suggest that you spend the first few hours exploring the whole map, go everywhere you can and uh, visit every port and uh, click that compass in every port and stronghold and whatever until you have the whole uh, map revealed it's a uh, it's fun it doesn't take a while well and uh, there are a few things you can do while you are attempting this um, you know exploration here I guess it is but to make it short just go to every port on the map uh, click that golden compass, reveal the like the surrounding area, and then continue on to the next port. It's a uh, it's well worth it. Another benefit to exploring early on is that it's going to increase your adventure level, and uh, that's really your you know your player level, not your flagship level. And um, it's it's a good thing to level early on. So you can see here adventure level. See um, it. You know, it goes up the more you explore, really, and the more you do all sorts of other stuff in the world. But exploration is really easy, and uh, it's well worth it. The next tip I want to give you, I've given you before, but uh, it cannot be mentioned enough. And that is that you should make sure that you turn on auto replenish and heal before departure. And uh, you do that by trying to depart a port and a... Uh, you will see the screen and make sure you tick the auto replenish button. Uh, it means that your ship will just be automatically replenished. You don't have to do anything. Okay, next up is missed incidents. And uh, you have to turn these on when you zoom into the, the max map and you just tick the incidents button down in the uh, right hand corner. And that will allow you to see so-called missed incidents. Now these are a very easy way of getting resources and also a special currency that will be very very useful later on in the game. So all you gotta do is zoom in on these, like for example a palm island here, and you don't have to sail to it, all you gotta do is just click it and click the plunder button. I mean it cannot be easier than that. And uh, while you're doing your exploration and you run into these islands uh, all over the map, uh, just click them and you pick up the resources on the way. You can also, uh, you know, explore the whole map first and then afterwards you go through and click uh, the different islands. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but as long as you click them all, right? Find every single one on the map, get all the resources and the world emblems here. They will be very important later on. And like I said, it's super easy. You don't have to sail to these locations. You just gotta zoom in and, uh, you know, just do whatever it wants. And uh, some of them are, you know, skull islands. Others like this one here are temples where you gotta worship but it's the same thing and these ones are extra uh, beneficial because they give you emeralds as well and emeralds are really good they can you can use that for many many purposes in the game and uh, they usually cost money so this is an excellent way of getting some emeralds for your low level player but you know spend them wisely right so all you got to do here is just click the worship button but them and you get 10 emeralds in this case here and a lot of other good stuff so uh don't forget to do this. It's really important and it's a very, very efficient way of, uh, you know, getting resources into your low level player and then being ready for the, uh, you know, unavoidable 
uh, level ups that you'll have to do later, but at least you have the resources, right? And if you're doing the exploration anyway, you might as well do this. Uh, there is no reason not to do it. So there are many different uh, missed incidents here, and some of them just require you to click. Others require you to play a little mini game, like for example, catching barrels with an anchor or stuff like that. But they all have in common that they give you lots of resources for very, very little work. And another thing they also have in common is that they give you points for one, doing the exploration, and two, also, uh, you know, doing the missed incidents. As you see here, uh, I got 50 points for visiting new ports, and I also got five points for completing missed incidents, plus some other stuff that's not important in this case here. Uh, but what it does mean that uh, by doing these things, which require very little of you, and it's something you have to do anyway, um, you will be able to uh, progress the sea voyage uh, here event and uh, this will also give you free stuff right like emeralds treasure maps uh, all sorts of things that you really really want so uh exploration and doing mist incidents will allow you first of all doing all the stuff i already mentioned and it will also allow you to pro progress this event here and uh, that's super important as well so don't forget that so uh, about events don't forget to click this button every day and check every event in here, especially the ones with a red dot, because that means that there will be something good for you. For example, as you promise here, uh, on the day two, you will be granted an epic hero for doing nothing, right? So make sure you check these. Uh, epic heroes are hard to come by, not as hard as legendaries, but they're certainly not easy. And uh, you want to get as many heroes as you possibly can, but you will want to wait with upgrading them until later. So uh, of course, also don't forget to check every single uh, event in here if there's anything for you to, uh, you know, pick up. All of them have goodies almost every day. All right, next up is heroes. And uh, I would say until you reach level seven or level eight, I wouldn't really worry about the heroes here. I wouldn't upgrade any of them, uh, except for the ones that you have to upgrade to progress the story, uh, because, what you want to do is you want to wait and get as many heroes as possible. Um, and then once you have a good selection, then you will start to determine which ones should I level up and which ones will, you know, complement the others uh, that you have in your roster. And you can't do that when you only have two or three heroes. And uh, remember that every hero is, is, like, is specialized, like there's jack of all trades and they specialize in firepower, strategist, and uh, every hero is different. And of course, first mates, you want to put those in the first mate slot and captains in the captain slot and stuff like that. And you might not always have a first mate. So uh, I suggest that you wait until you have a good selection of heroes, until you start to put the resources into upgrading them, because these are precious resources and you do not want to waste them, right? Like I did mention, there's a few, um, you know, tasks where you have to uh, upgrade a hero for example henry hell needs to be upgraded to level six to progress the story so of course you unfortunately gotta do that but uh henry hell you can always use so it's not really a big problem but uh, like i said don't progress them more than you absolutely have to until you reach level eight all right next up the tip i have is to change your name you'll be able to do that uh when you reach level five i believe it is and uh, all you got to do is really just uh you know unwrap this piece of paper here and select name and that's the name you will be known as uh, going forward and uh, this is quite important because there's a lot of players out there just using the default name which is like player whatever some crazy number and uh once you want to join a gang most gangs have a requirement of you actually having a real name for your character. So uh, you might as well do that. And I mean, there's no downside to it. So why not do it? So just remember to get that done once you get the opportunity. All right. One thing you also want to do uh, while you're low level is to unlock the storm horn. Now you have to do this as part of the story. So you can't really progress otherwise. Uh, but it's just important uh, to be able to do it right. And all you got to do is just click the storm horn icon and then you got to do six in this case here uh, tasks and then once you've done those you can click the fork horn itself and you will be not the fork horn the storm horn and uh, you will be granted uh, that artifact what this 
Stormhorn does here is actually make you um, make it makes it possible for you to travel the map faster, and you definitely want that ability. So uh, it's not something that you should miss out on. So uh, getting the Stormhorn is really easy. You just got to do a few upgrades to your ship, which you got to do anyway. It's not really a problem. So for example, own three gun bays, fairly easy. Own one sick bay, also fairly easy. It doesn't say anything about levels, so you just got to add a sick bay. If you don't have room. Uh, make sure that you have actually uh, opened all the rooms available in your ship because sometimes people think they don't have room while they actually do. So check the whole ship and uh, make sure that you've got all the rooms uh, revealed. So uh, being a low level player is difficult. So here I'm fighting a level 3 uh, merchant ship and I get killed doing it right. And that brings me to the next section here, and that is you should use your heroes. You shouldn't upgrade them, but you should definitely use them. So uh, how to do that? Well, really, it's uh, it's very simple. Uh, the game like suggests a few things you can do to increase your power level, but uh, the easiest thing you can do, and it's something that a lot of players forget or they don't know about, is actually to put the heroes that you already have on your flagship. So I suggest putting Henry Hell, which you will have, Everybody will have him in as the captain because he is a jack of all trades. And uh, the first mate, I uh, suggest in this case here, I have Will. You might not have him, but uh, he's an epic commander. And uh, obviously he's better than a rare, so put him in as the um, first mate. That means that your ship is now far more powerful because you got the heroes in the right spots. So I'm still the same level here and I'm fighting a level 4 freighter this time and I'm winning. So uh, make sure that you... <laughs> equip your heroes on your flagship. Once you've done that, you will be able to unlock the Stormhorn, which is, you know, an artifact that you definitely want and need in the game, and also you cannot progress without doing it. So that brings me to the last tip I want to give you here, in this video at least, and that is that once you reach um, Chapter 6, you will be able to buy a Legendary Commander. And uh, if you don't want to spend money on a game, I totally understand it, but you can get the legendary hero Cordelia here, which is a healer. And she only costs, in my case here, less than two Australian dollars. That's very, very cheap and very, very easy for a legendary hero, so you should at least consider it, right? Uh, again, she is a, uh, like a team healer and uh, she's very useful. But again, up to you. Anyway, this was my last tip here for at least this video here for new players and beginners. So uh, do tell me in the comments what you think and uh, I'll see you out there.